I can look at you if he's talking there, but I don't care whatever you want to do. So we have a beautiful garden out back that's open all day, every day, weather permitting. We cover it and heat it in the winter time. Take the pictures. <laughs> man, take a picture, man. Let's go into the video. Yeah, exactly. Come on now. There you go. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> What's up, man? Nothing. I'm doing a quick interview for a oh, magazine. Ooh, go That's going in. That. You're going to be on YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. There you go. I love that. Um, so, yeah, so the garden's open. So, I'm. Um, Phil Ledbetter, I'm the general manager of Up Down Cigar in Chicago. We've been here since 1963, in this location since 1976. I've been with the store for 13 years and manager for about eight of that time. When you walk in, it's pretty much, I can honestly say, one of the more unique cigar stores in the industry. Diana Silvius, the owner and founder, used her artistic interpretation to design the cases and design the layout completely different and we have more product squeezed into a very small space than I've ever seen in any other tobacco store. Um, she's always focused and we're lucky to be in the neighborhood we're in where it's a, a relatively high-end area so we're able to carry ST DuPont, Ellie Blue, very high-end top-notch products but we cater to everybody so we'll have Lotus, Calibri, other brands as well for accessories. Cigars we run the gauntlet. We've got everything from bundled blue ribbons from uh, Jonathan Drew Estate all the way to Davidoff. We've been an appointed, one of the first appointed merchants ever and have uh, continued to do very well at Davidoff ever since and for our 50th anniversary they even introduced our own Davidoff up down 50th Annie that Hanky Kellner blended for us. Uh, Diana was actually a art student and teacher in outside of Detroit before she got into the cigar business and kind of fell into it. She had a knick-knock, uh, kind of a uh, head shop, paper dresses, just an art gallery, a little bit of everything and had a little tobacco counter in the basement of the old location and the uh, imported cigarettes and tobacco part did really, really well. So she really asserted herself to learn as much as she could about the industry and it's uh, obviously put her in a, a different hemisphere as far as people in the industry and she really worked her ass off to get where she is today and I have immense respect for her and have been privileged to work for her and have the opportunity to work in the store and learn about the business from her. Um, everything you see in here, the railings, the, the guardrail on the catwalk, the design of the cases themselves, the, the wood, the silver, or the metal work everywhere is all part of her kind of idea. Even the floor tiling and the layout is all based on her design that's been evolving for well, since 76, so 37 years. Yeah, because uh, the smoking man is relatively new to Chicago, and um, because we have so many things crammed into the space, we don't have a whole lot of room for people inside. So we have a beautiful garden out back that's open all day, every day, weather permitting. So yeah, so the garden's open all day, every day, weather permitting. We keep it covered and heated in the wintertime. Um, we use it for events and special when we have guests in town, but people can go out there, hang out, smoke. We have. We'll do random Sunday barbecues and customers come in and grill and hang out and make a little party scene out there, but otherwise it's, it's basically our lounge, but it's a beautiful little hidden patio in the middle of Chicago that no one even knows it's there unless you come to the store.